Welcome Libra to your March reading, your March sun sign reading. The moon side readings will be out um, towards the full moon. I hope you're doing well and taking care of yourself. When I was pre-shuffling your cards, the lovers came out, flew out, right out. So excited to see what's happening. Knight of Coins. There's a message in this card for you. You're learning that slow and steady wins the race and you're learning to ground. Ground your energy a bit. Connecting to nature a little bit more. Five of Cups. You're thinking about something. You're you're missing something. You're trying to. Oh, sorry. This is the Four of Cups. I really felt the sorrow of the Five of Cups, but it's the Four of Cups. So you're missing something. It's like a sorrowful boredom. A sorrowful boredom that I almost feel like has you a little bit jaded, but, but not, but then looking at things, but then uh, like allowing you to see you don't want to feel jaded and it's like softening you and humbling you and to be like, no, I'm just going to look at actually what I'm missing and learn from that. I'm going to look at what I'm missing and learn from it. And it's like you're finding the light in there. And the lovers, I told you. Well, hello. You're on a path here to love, to true love. And I really feel like you're longing. You're longing for romance again. You're longing for passion. You're longing for love. You're longing for like a passionate stability, a passionate stability, like where you just, you want to feel so close to someone that it's just like soul to soul. You want to have a soul to soul connection. Ace of Swords. So you have you're finding clarity. You're finding mental clarity with what you're lacking, but it's teaching you what you want. And it's transforming you. And it's allowing you to tell your truths. To tell your truths and connect and ground of the light. And you're finding the strength. You're finding the strength to connect the dots, break the chains, to free yourself so you can have true love. And it's almost like, you know, you gotta, you gotta find a strength within, a power within, like not being timid anymore. You, know, you can't always be timid. It's, it's like finding that you're rower. But it can be humble and connected to heart as well. It's But you can still speak your truth. You can still put up boundaries. You can still grow and manifest and do the things you need to do. The star. Look, the star and the ten of cups. And then we got the King of Coins, a matured energy. Going from a page to a king. Let's get the message here for you.
The Knight of Coins is ready to rush in and tackle the task at hand. Unlike other decks which show, show this knight sitting quietly on his horse, the Tarot of the Dreams of Knight of Coins is charging into the fray, thus staying true to the impetuosity, the impetuosity of the knights. He is capable of patience when engaged in long, tedious projects and is evidenced by the huge Red Rock Mountain and his horse that he is about to climb. But once he decides on his direction, he is anxious to begin. Knights are completely focused on their tasks. The Knight of Coins takes pleasure in his work for the work's sake and thus is often found fully engrossed in what might seem to others to be tedious or a chore. He could perhaps be an athlete who has the determination and self-discipline to succeed at his sport. A stage in a task or a project when one must buckle down and get one hands dirty. Approach. Knights are doing rather than desiring, planning or directing that something of a physical nature be built, changed or work with, worked with. The Knight of Coins suggests that you actually have to go out and do it. If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself sometimes. Slow, steady, and responsible. The Knight is nevertheless eager to begin. Take that as it resonates with you because it's going to resonate differently with everybody. And if this doesn't mess message doesn't resonate with you, I wish you luck on finding what you're looking for. Now, let's clarify. This is, wow. Wow. This is the Patch Tarot. I love these tarot cards. They're new. I did a review on them and they're really, really unique. Okay. There it is. Strength. So right now you're feeling weak. This five, four of cups, keep wanting to say the five because I feel the sorrow but the four of cups it's got you feeling weak but the thing is is that you need to find your strength your strength within and that's going to be to transform that's going to be into transform it's going to be to actually do to do you know you can study what you're missing for a very long time, but it's time to come out of pause then and sitting there as lower vibration and take action now. Take action because the lovers is here. You need to find strength to face your challenges, face your darkness, face the fire. Now, Clarifying the Four of Cups, we have the Emperor structure. Okay, so remember the sun. Remember Remember the fire, your fire, your passions, your firepower. Connect to you know, use the energy of the Emperor that that God energy to create with okay we've got clarifying the lovers the ace of cups compassion you're going to find compassion here It's beautiful. A romance 
full of compassion. Now, with the Ace of Swords, we've got the Prince of Swords. Fire and water. So, passion and heart. This is connecting to passion and heart. This is learning even how to tell truth with passion and heart because we have the Ten of Swords. There was closure here. There was closure. And you can actually see his spirit leaving because it's, there's closure. It's closure now. The clarity is the closure. That's the clarity. The closure and the fact now that it's time to connect to emotions and heart and ground it. Ground it with Mother Earth. Ground it with meditation. Ground it with healing. Creating positive patterns to move forward with. Yeah, look. Ten of Cups. That's where you're going. Prosperity. Building your Ten of Cups. Because you're tired of suffering. And you just don't want to battle anymore. You're ready to invest. You're ready to invest. You're ready to invest into something of heart and passion. Now, let's see what's being activated. What's being activated here? In the, in the month of March. Not all that. need a little reshuffle over here. Get the energy back flowing. All right. There it is. We got two. Wow. The Ace of Pentacles. magician Wow A baby rests while a dragon companion provides protection. They are surrounded by five acorns. The dragon holds a large disc in its tail. The child is protected in its holster. He looks behind him with a curious expression that seems to wonder where they came from. The dragon sits on its hunches, resting. The tail holds a disc high in the air, keeping it safe from the ground. Both are starting off on a new path together. Where they go is unknown, but they do it together. This card's lesson suggests that growth requires nurturing and care from many sources. Seed of growth, feeling connected to the ground. Protection. And that's what this is about. And that is beautiful. The Magician. A wizard dressed in fine red robes 
sets off on a pilgrimage. The tools of his trade surround him. The wand, the chalice, the pentacle, and the sword all will aid him when he needs the support. The magician steps out from behind his table confidently. His position on the card exudes power. He reminds us that we all have the seeds to make magic manifest in the here and now. His robes keep him warm. His tools are all easily within reach to use. He looks to the beyond and asks us, what can we do to make magic in our lives? Using the tools you have for the right purpose, power, self-control, and self-knowledge. And that's everything you need to know when you're grounding the energy. Continue to study. Continue to use knowledge. Apply. Apply the grounding. Right? You don't have to stay stuck in feeling the Ten of Swords or the Four of Cups. This is a beautiful transformation. It's gorgeous. It's all about new beginnings and manifesting. Manifesting um, romance. Manifesting Ten of Cups. Manifesting and creating something new connected to passion and heart. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, guys. So I just really felt called to get you a little bit of extra information here and read this for you, okay? To help you shift out of the Four of Cups energy. This is water and emotion and it's unmanifested form. You might see it as an emotional seed, the place where emotion is birthed and experienced. This is the realm of pure feeling, sensitivity, and the pure divine feminine, the womb in which feelings are birthed. The Ace of Cups invites you to look deep within the place of subtle and emotional resonance and get in touch with your feelings. Resting your awareness here, you will find the heart of your desires, the ability to empathize with others, and true love. This is the place where feelings give birth to thoughts, will, and action. This is the place from which you share your heart with the world. And that is the whole key to this. It's time to connect to emotion and passion and share your heart with the world. And that is beautiful and that is gorgeous. Okay, beautiful. Thank you for joining me here today. I will see you again soon. Take care. This is exciting. Looking forward to spring.